What is up? It's Andy. I'm here with you on a Tuesday. What did you think I was going to send like a substitute teacher or something like that? Well, maybe I should have because I'm still under the weather, believe it or not. But I want to tell you, you know, like 10 years ago, my acting teacher's assistant. Yeah, not my acting teacher, the assistant. Why an acting teacher needs an assistant, I'll never have any clue. But you know what she said to me? I'm actually glad that he had an assistant because you want to know what she said to me she said Andy you gotta you gotta stop apologizing to people because she noticed like if I ever walked by someone and they bumped into me I would be that guy who was like oh I'm sorry I was a premature apologizer so ever since she told me to stop apologizing to people I made it a point I'm not apologizing to anybody unless it calls for it and you want to know what today calls for an apology ladies and gentlemen number one for sounding a little under the weather you know i still i don't have my normal juices i can't even give you my normal anger and curse you out despite the fact that i was the one who made the bad picks and that is my second apology it was a monday night massacre i do not know what happened it was dumbfounding you, know, you always hear people say dumbfounded but not dumbfounding i hope that's an actual word but what was even worse about it was that I came in yesterday like, oh, say, oh, I was tearing it up all weekend. Wait till you see this trick I learned on the half pipe. Just wait. It's going to win a gold medal. I went on the half pipe and I fell directly on my face right in front of all of you. And all I can do is look forward to Tuesday and try to get us on the right track. But looking back quickly. Just to, you know, in the final third of the season here, where usually you start to see more from the teams you'd expect less from the teams you don't some of these things the sharks have five home wins all year long they were playing without their top two players in hurdle and meyer and that's those are their top two players on forward other than carlson by a mile playing their backup goalie against the kraken who just had two great wins were playing great and the random four nothing shutout then the islanders who, who could have lost 12 to 3 because of Sorokin and some timely penalty kill, they end up winning 3-2. to two. If you saw that, they the level of outplay that they were in that game, it is just extremely hard to predict. Even if you bet on Florida, you were down 2 nothing in the first. It was, a, it was a random nightmare holiday. I don't Get me off those holidays. Get me back to a nice regular night, a Tuesday night, which is where we are tonight. I got a, I'm gonna, there's an old reliable who I'm gonna go to for our first bet. Just like our old reliable promotion. DraftKings Sportsbook bet $5 on any of these money lines. If you bet $5 on the Florida Panthers last night, they would have made you sweat, but they ended up winning in overtime, which means if you took part in that promotion, DraftKings Sportsbook would have credited you with $150 in free bet credits. That's the promotion. Bet five on a money line. If they win, you get $150. But you got to be over 21 and located in an area where sports betting is permitted. And if you got a problem, like, you know, you were shooting bows, bow and arrow at me on the wall, like you, made, you printed out a picture like the Ray Finkel room and, you know, you were shooting bow and arrows at me then you might have a gambling problem. You should call 1-800-GAMBLER. I hope you weren't doing that. But, you know, the world we live in, maybe there was a Ray Finkel-type room of me out there. Can you imagine all those pictures of me? And some guy like, Andy. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. But looking at these Tuesday picks, we're going to start with an old reliable, like I just told you. I'm going to go to the Minnesota Wild. Now, if we can get the Minnesota Wild any which way at plus one and a half, I think we got to try to do that. Why? Because if you look at this whole whole home stretch that they're on, every single game has been decided by one goal. And pretty much all the games have gone under. So Minnesota Wild and under seven and a half, that will take a minus 130 to plus 130. But like I said, I would like to get the Wild at plus one and a half on one of these bets. So what I'm going to do is do plus one and a half Wild. All these games recently during this wild home stretch there has not been more than one goal scored in the first period so if i take under two and a half goals for the first wild plus one and a half that's actually plus money but i am going to take the wild to win this because they have been grinding out a tough win versus dallas another tough win versus nashville they're grinding it out they play that kind of winning hockey that i like defensively responsible and yes they do have trouble scoring but they were able to score four last game so that might propel them in the right direction against the kings i will take 
the wild in this one with that assortment of same game parlays. And like I said, it's been like five straight. I had under one and a half goals in the first period scored. Never been more than one. So I don't mind continuing that, taking the under one and a half goals, that prop for the Minnesota Wild for the first period uh, at plus money. Now let's go over to game two. Another team that I've stuck to this all year, the Washington Capitals. I told you they were old. They're slow. We've bet unders on them all season long. And now we have the added bonus. There's still no Carlson, but now we haven't had Ovechkin. He's been gone for a week, and we got one last chance to cash in on the Ovechkin isn't playing bets, which we've been doing the last few. They've lost a couple of these. They don't have a lot of talent. They don't have a lot of scoring options. So while I don't like the Red Wings, they have won five out of six and have been playing well and are fighting for that last playoff spot. This is the last chance we're going to get to bet against Ovechkin because I think he's uh, coming back on Tuesday. And then we'll still probably bet against him, but we're not going to feel comfortable taking teams like the Red Wings at plus money. So if we want to take the Red Wings at plus money, we can do that. We can do Red Wings plus one and a half, under seven and a half. That will get you back to plus money. Any of those assortments. And the reason I like adding seven and a half to all of these in the final third of the season, as you're seeing, you're not getting as many five fours anymore. Look at all the games yesterday, four to threes or under. There was not one total that went over seven goals because points are hard to come by right now. You've got to fight for your right to get points. And if I wasn't sick, I would have sung that like the Beastie Boys or like Kelsey winning the Super Bowl. But I can't, so I won't. But if, I'll, if I have to take a side there, it's going to be the Red Wings and that assortment of same-game parlays that I just gave you. A lot of same-gamers. Then we're going to go on to the Maple Leafs versus Buffalo. I told you about two weeks ago, I don't care. It's signed, sealed, delivered with a kiss, gone in the mail, postmarked, all that. The Buffalo Sabres, I'm calling them frauds to the end. People are going to be on them on this game for this game because why? They just beat two awful teams on the road and still had a little bit of trouble in the way. They beat the Ducks and who, the Sharks? Well, what happened before that? They played three playoff teams and lost all of them. And I believe they lost via puck line fashion. When they play a good team and lose, they get destroyed or they beat bad teams. Congratulations. Well, Toronto, they just had an embarrassing loss to Chicago. They brought Ryan O'Reilly in there. I think this is a great chance to take the puck line on Toronto because if Buffalo loses, it ain't a mere one goal loss. They're losing like six to two. So I actually would take Toronto minus one and a half after that embarrassing loss because if there's a team that you don't want to be trading chances with, I know Buffalo has offensive talent but not like the top six of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'll actually take Toronto, minus one and a half in that one. And then obviously, I don't want to say, oh yeah, Carolina. Carolina has been a reliable team to beat up on bad teams. You saw them crack Montreal the other night. They beat up on Washington in the stadium series. And I know Odd Shopper Premium, the Area 51 bunker percentages, they're strong on Carolina too. I, I normally don't try to take minus one and a halves if it's still in the minus, but against a bad team, I feel like Carolina cleans them up real nice. And with New Jersey still winning and, and staying hot on their trail, I think Carolina will have enough motivation to continue to win these games. And the Blues, my goodness, since they traded away O'Reilly and Tarasenko, they have looked god-awful in puck line fashion, losing to both Colorado and Ottawa in back-to-back -back days. I think I'm betting against St. Louis until they show to me that they can win a game with this you know, lifeless roster because even Bushnevich left one of those games. Not a lot of options there in St. Louis. So I will green light Carolina in that one. And those are the picks that I'm going to give for you here on this Tuesday. Let's try to get things going in the right direction. Once again, nothing I can do about that Monday other than turn the tides. Good luck to you. Better luck to me. And I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I got my full juice going. Make sure you're subscribed to the Odd Shopper channel. Follow me on social media. It's at Andy Francis. You can do that preferably when you're in a good mood and not cursing me out. I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy.